Hello. And testing is for. Hello. Yes. Testing. Okay, so today the topic is Oceania. <clears throat> um, I'm going to strike to the art scenes. Uh, for history, I'm just going to do a very brief introduction. So, um, I'm dividing this art and cool civilization. Let's call it like that. So the divisions are like this. Uh, Micronesia, important islands here, the, uh, the Marshall Island, Caroline Islands, then Melanesia, the, with the Solomon Island, Vanuatu, New Caledonia, Fiji, uh, Papua New Guinea, and then Polynesia, that is the triangle between Hawaii, Easter Island or Rapa Nui and New Zealand. <clears throat> Important islands here like Cook Islands, um, Marquesas Islands. There are many, many islands that I talk in this part. And then finally, Australia with Tasmania. Let me get the document it is in here i have this uh, from africa's placeholder um, i'm going this was okay. Oceanic art includes the styles, technique, and traditions of these cultures. It is characterized by its generally religious themes and the worship of ancestors and by a magical symbolic work and a stylization and schematization of geometric forms, sometimes reaching a simple sight. Okay. And then the maps. And then starting. Planet <clears throat> art. So, two looks. And this is going to have to. Um, I'm going to open this again to have it as third. Or I will be opening it as mistake all the time. Like this is going to be. There are four regions: Micronesia. Uh... Hello, Iraqi gamer. I'm fine, and you? Welcome. Um, I'm having the chat in my phone. How are you? Uh, me too. Nice. Well, 
I hope you enjoy this. This is a kind of um, class. I'm doing a PowerPoint and explaining about the culture. Uh, to, the topic of today is uh, Oceania. And well, it's uh, I will be reading the text and adding pictures so you will see a overview of this culture. There are four regions, Micronesia, the main places are the Marshall Islands, Guam and the Caroline Islands, Micronesia is here. Melanesia, the main places are Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, New Caledonia and Fiji, Melanesia is here. Polynesia, the main places are Hawaii, New Zealand, Easter Island, Samoa, Tahiti, Marquesas Islands, and Cook Islands. Polynesia, all this. And Australia, inhabited by the Aboriginals. They create objects for daily life as sculptures, pottery, baskets, textiles, decorations for home. Body decoration is important, they use tattoo. Big dogs, necklaces are important, it symbolizes the wealth of the owner. Tiggy represents a divine being with human form. Rainbow serpent. Rainbow serpent is an um, Australian mythological creature. Maui, he visited the islands of Oceania from mythology. And the Pita, the ancestral culture of the many cultures of Oceania. Um, I'm going to open the the big PDF to have it as <laughs> yes, that one is Egyptian. Okay, I'm going to put some pictures, but not not adding all of them. Um, I guess I'll just add a couple. Okay, so these are the pictures, the baskets, ceramics. This is about the costumes, body decoration, and also mask. Fragments of ceramic, more ceramic the maps. Maui fishing the islands, more ceramic. This is the rainbow serpent. Body decoration, the tiki. And that's all. So I'm going to put baskets. This ceramic. Um, this for the body painting. Or um, yes, I'm going to put this. This one is good, but better this one because the space and also. The fears, like it is more closer. Okay, I'll edit like this. And this one for mythology Maui, the rainbow serpent, and the tiki.
This is too big. Yeah, I know. Rainbow Serpent is very powerful creature in the mythology of Australia. And people try to not um not go close to them. Obviously I'm it doesn't exist but it's part of mythology. So among the myths it's like if you encounter a rainbow serpent better stay away because they are very dangerous okay and now the names having this as placeholder just to keep the format Basketry Pottery, let me read you I have been on the stream for a while now I have to go and if you were in involved again I will definitely join you Oh, thank you Yes, uh, by the way Bye yeah. uh, Thank you and that's fine Don't worry Thank you very much for coming I put the phone uh, with the chat um, up of the laptop, so when I move the phone, uh, you see my hand in the webcam. This is body decoration. Have a good night and thank you again. This is Maui. This is Tiki. Tiki is the, the first human male that is created by the gods. Also in this mythology, uh, the first human was a woman, not a not a not a man. Later, I will talk a bit about mythology, but I can just say something because um, in this art, mythology is very important. I think more important than in Africa. This one is the rainbow serpent. Okay, so this is the intro. Um, now starting with Micronesia. Micronesia, formed by Palaos, Micronesia, Federated States, Marshall Islands, Nauru, Guam, Wake Island, Caroline Islands, and Northern Marianas Islands. There is no much farming terrain, so there aren't many people. They are great sailors. Yes, this is going to be very short. Marshall Islands, various objects of artisanal and navigation charts. Guam, not many objects, just some masks. And Caroline Islands, in the Nukoro Atoll, there were found many Aitu sculptures representing women. A little bit more smaller. And I think here just one, because this is very, very short. 
Micronesio. And you're just going to skip these maps. Um, Mars are islands, so here it is this dress. This is, uh, I don't remember, fun. Ah, uh, yes, a fun. Uh, and then this navigation chart. One here, this mask. I'm just going to add one and Caroline Islands, some figures. And this one. Marshall Islands on Marshall Islands navigation art. One mask. Um, Caroline Islands. Marshall Islands, one Carolina Islands. Okay, next one. And next year. This one is longer because Papua New Guinea. Up one you in is very long. Um, by the way, this will have the format. This is fine. Melanesia, formed by Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, New Caledonia, and Fiji. The people in these islands are black and they live in villages. Solomon Islands, it is a group of nearly a thousand islands. The people practice headhunts and cannibalism, believes in magic and sorcery, veneration of the ancestors. Blonde hen, they are also great sailors. Sculptures of canoes, other sculptures, head of Tindalo spirits, Seals and jewelry. Solomon Islands.
Or the angels went to put two or three sculptures, I guess. This sculpture, um, I think this is earring or necklace, jewelry, and seals. Solomon Islands culture. Field. Jewelry. Next one, Papua New Guinea. This one is very long, so let's think how to do it. I think this is going to be too much. Well, let's see when I edit. It is composed Papua New Guinea. It is composed by the eastern half of the New Guinea island and a number of small islands. There are myths about heroes that talk the ancestors how to cultivate. The spirits are important and live in forests, rivers, mountains. In the religion, there are not rewards or punishment based on moral behaviors. It is important to do the ceremonials. Dance is very important as a symbol of peace and happiness. Masks represent deities. The main construction is the house Tambaran, the house of the spirits, being also a ceremonial and political center. Mass represents animals converted into themic items. Barak masks are non human spirits with long nose. Murik masks are ancestral spirits with flat nose. Sebik mask, Chambri mask. The Oro Orocolo culture has two rituals, the Ebeje and the Kobabe, and they, they built masks for them. The Azaru, okay, I think here is, going, is where I'm going to do the division. The Azaro is a tribe that made most masks and went to war with them, covering their body too. There are a lot of sculptures as decoration, decoration for canoes, go tablets for adulthood rituals, bioma figures to get help of spirits for hunt and war, corwal sculpture, pora pora woman sculpture, and asmat masks. In New Ireland, there are also masks and ritual objects. The Tatanua masks are to honorate the dead. 
The guest mask represent a, a potent spirit using the malangam to threat the ones using uh, to treat the ones that do not honor the dead. Basically, they are masks for funerary rituals. Pull up figures represent people who died recently. Lot of masks. I need to organize this better, but let's see. Okay, I think something like this is fine. And now let me it's yours. Here I'm going to put dark one. A lot of pictures. Um here this one. Later I put it better. Uh, Bank construction is the house Tambaran. This one. I think the best picture is this, but maybe that is too modern. This one is like too small. This one doesn't is not very good picture. This is too modern, so I think I'm going to put this one. And now a lot of masks. Not going to put all masks, obviously. Just a few. I think I'm not going to put more mass. Yes. The Tambaran house, then this mask, and this mask. I think this is fine enough. I'm going to edit this picture very quickly. The Asaru. The 
Intercambio de Collection. This one. One of these. I want this. I think it's this one. Yes. Um, that's culture also. The view of fever and this this thing the asmat These are the Asaru. Papua New Guinea people Paus Tan Baran And this is um, Barak and Murik Mas. Going to confirm just in case Barak and Murik. Barak and Murik.
Barak mask, Murik, Murik mask, and this a little bit of. Now this the Asaru. This the date. Now this. Canon decoration. Okay, tablet. This is the bioma. Igor. And the last one is the mask. Asmat. Must. Mask and ritual object. Mm. Malang Gan Bas and pull up figures. Better like this. Cooler figures. And Papua New Guinea is finished.
Vanuatu. Vanuatu, also known as New Hebrides, it is a volcanic archipelago. Most of its inhabitants are natives. And by the way, how it is this? Yes, I just said it like that. There is a social scale and to get up you need to accumulate richness mostly with sculptures. They build houses called Nakamal for religious and political discussions. The Pnaret is in the frontal side of the house and represents the founder. The Tamat are important spirits, places for protection of the houses. Painted table. Common league mask related with the adulthood ritual. Here mask. Chubuan mask, protectors of the dead. Anglautai and Glautaki are for death rituals of the Masian, where it is built a funerary coffin, now it. There are also sand drawings. It is going to be very small, I think. I'm going to... Nagamal House. This one is obviously much better. Even if there is people. And then this is the sport, different sculptures. And then this is the mask. And another figure, this one. Only the, the house and this one. Vanuatu Nakamar Pau. And then this sculpture. And it. Vanuatu, 
Nare. Ultra. I think it is like this. Yes. Now must Man, leak mask and and Glauta. No, this is the last one, and just went to skip. For this, the sun drawings. But not to some drawings. Next one, New Caledonia. New Caledonia, it is an archipelago composed by a main island, Grande Terre and many small islands. With mountains, the native population is called Kanak. In architecture, there are the chief houses with a decoration at the top. About mask, they are of black wood with enormous nose representing water spirits. The morning mass represents the chief and it is adorned with hair made of wood with the eyes closed. There are also axes made with jade, symbol of the sun, and they were used for human sacrifices. Pillow dance is a traditional ritual dance where music is very important. Going to divide in two.
New Caledonia Chief House. About mass, they are blood wood, okay. This kind of mask, morning mask, and then access. Mm. One more. So I'm just going to add uh, this mask. This mask and this axe, I think. Yes, and this axe. New Caledonia Mass New Caledonia Morning Mass And New Caledonia Axe. And finally, the last one of Melanesia is Fiji. Fiji. It is a mountainous archipelago with little amount of fertile soil. There are jungles composed by bamboo and bushes, with a great variety of vegetation and animals. The biggest island is Bitilebu. They are great sailors and made very good canoes. Bure Navala Hots, Bure Kalo is the temple, house of the spirits and priests. Sculptures of a small size, lots of tikis that come from Hawaii, Polynesia. The Daveni Yakona is a figure for priests to drink the Yakona, a medicinal liquid. About jewelry, it is made with whale ivory. The Totokia is a war hammer used to hit the heads of the victims. The Masi are vegetal textiles. Okay, and I was just thinking. Yes, this only. So here I put the sculptures in a second one. Pure Navala, Pure Calou. Here I'm going to put the, the canoe. And in the next one, the buildings. 
I want to put at least one cannon, and this one is very good example. Uh, what is it? This. And here the Navala. And the Kalo. BG Canoe Bure Navala and Bure Canoe Bure Kalo Sculptures of the mass size, especially tickies. Thinking how to do this. Tikis and then one more. Some jewelry, sculpture, mm. this one.
Three sculpture. Three to Tokyo. It was called like this. To Tokyo, yes. And Fiji Ivory necklace. And finish it with Melanesia. Now, any guidelines? Wait, my mind just did something weird here. Oceanic art, Micronesia, Oceanic art, not islands. Okay, and uh, now Polynesia. Here there are many islands, but it's not as long as the other one. Yes, this one. I'll buy. Polynesia, formed by Hawaii, New Zealand, Easter Island, Samoa, Tuvalu, Kiribati, Tonga, French Polynesia, Cook Islands, among others. It is basically a triangle invert a triangular. And in vertices are Hawaii, New Zealand, and Easter Island. These islands are of two kinds, or atolls, or atolls or volcanic islands. It is thought that Polynesian culture comes from Lapita culture, coming from Asia, especially from Indonesia. Hawaii Composed by an archipelago with eight main islands, all of them volcanic. The sculpture is dominated by the tikis, human-like sculptures representing deities, being Kanaloa, Kain, Ku, Lono, and Pele, the most represented. Starting in individual images of Tikis, there are two examples of each deity. Mm. Example of each deity in Tikis. The Heiau is the Hawaiian temple to save sacred items and cult images with altars for sacrifice. Hawaii mm, Let's see how I'm going to put this
Canaloa, Cain, Q, Lono, L. Cain is the god of creation, so I'm going to put this the first, and then uh, who is okay. I'm thinking how to put this. Okay, I'm going to put it like this, that's all. Why pain? This one is pain, right? No, canaloa. Canalo, canaloa, Kiki. No, I'm going to just put canaloa. Can This one is Lono. Pele. Ah, 
on these. And now this say yo. Yao Tempo. New Zealand. No, continuing with the next. New Zealand, also called Aotearoa. It is composed by two Greek islands, the North Islands and the South Island. The natives are the Maori. Ariki is the chief of the tribe with politic, religious and economic power, but also with knowledge of the legends and interpreted, and interpreted the sins of the gods. It was a warrior society and the Haka is the dancer of the warriors. It is important the fact of open eyes and tongue exposed. The tattoo is very important, called Moko. Women only could get a tattoo in the chin if they belong to a warrior. In architecture, there is the Marae, a community or sacred place for religious and social functions. About the sculptures, there are figures about two God of War. It is also important to mention the petroglyph of Lake Taupo. And finally, Gottfried Lindauer is a painter that made portraits of the natives. Ireland, Maori.
this picture is nice since you can see kind of dance like this it is like angry this one is with the mouth open and the eyes and you see also the clothes the tattoos here there is also woman another woman here another woman here so this picture is very nice now architecture sculpture petroglyph and then paint paintings i'm going to put also these ones to have it very close uh it is this one yes this one and this one I like this one, but I think this one is more interesting because the central post. So that is the one I'm going to put. Just this one, this one, no. I prefer this. Marai and then Sculpture, the Petroglyph. I think I know how I'm going to put it. One more. Here I put this sculpture, the petal of leaf, this one. This is the, what is called, Petroglyph of Lake Taupo. Petroglyph of Lake Taupo. Yes. Gottfried Lindauer. Gottfried Lindauer painting. Okay. 
Next one. Easter Island. Will be close to the end. Easter Island. Also called Rapa Nui, it is the island of the Rapa Nui people. The Moai are monolithic sculptures of volcanic rock. It is thought that these statues are representation of the dead that will protect the descendants. There are also small wooden sculptures called Moai Kaba Kaba, skeleton-like figures that represent the mummified bodies of the ancestors. Moai and Moai Kaba Kaba. I think this is the only one, yes. I'm going to put two pictures. Just because the Moai ones are long. This is Easter Island. Uh, what? Why cover cover? Next one. Samoa. Samoa, composed by an archipelago, the Samoans are known by their great skill navigating. The village don't have walls, but pillars. Siapo is a cultural decorative art symbol of the Samoan culture and is used mainly in textiles.
Moi, euh, Disco Dios Houses. Yes. And this is Seattle. Next one, Tahiti. Tahiti, it is the biggest island of the French Polynesia, composed by two parts centered in two extinct volcanoes. In its art, there are the floating village, Marais, and a sculpture. Tidy houses and flood, flooding buildings. Tidy sculpture. Next one, Marquesas Islands. It is, oh, one moment, this is fine, this is not. Marquesas Islands. It is an archipelago of French Polynesia. The native life is based on food, war, and sex, and they practice cannibalism as a way to go to war. In a sculpture, there are tiggies with very big and opened eyes. Whoa, well, this picture so bad. Um. No idea what's happening here. Okay.
Marquesas, Islands, Cities. And finally, the last one, the Cook Islands. Composed by an archipelago of volcanic islands. In its art, there are wooden pieces, gold staves, Edward Rakau, and hand fans. One of each, and that's all. This one, this one, and this one. Cook Islands figures. And Cook Islands and Pan. And finally, Polynesia is finished. Now the last one, Australia. And part Australia. How long I am? One hour and a half, okay. Australia is composed by the Sahul platform and some islands. It was inhabited by more than 40,000 years for the Australian Aboriginal people. There is a great diversity in fauna and flora. About the culture, items as the boomerang and the didgeridoo are well known. The Dreamtime is a group of legends that explain the origins of people and their relations with nature and their future, and the sacred place is Uluru, or Ayers Rock.
Italia people. Antier de Uluru. Mm. I don't see it. Yeah. Uluru More things Rock art It can be found in many places as Bradshaw, Namadhi or Uluru They used to represent stories of the dream time with aerial perspective Kimberley. These paintings are known as Mimi style, an ancient style that the aboriginals say that was created by Mimi spirits, the deities that created the universe. Arnhem. These paintings are known as X-ray style because it represents the internal anatomy of living beings or objects. I'm going to continue with more art. Contemporaneity for the last. Bark painting, Papunja dot painting, related with the dream time. Wood carvings, aerial painting, firecraft, mainly basketry, but also other and other items, and Tasmania art, basketry and self. Necklace mm. in Tasmania art. I'm going to put it in another one. Okay, here's the rock art. And I think here at least two. Bradshaw. Yes, this one is very nice. This one. This is the same. No, this not, is not the one I'm looking for. What is this one? This one. Then Kimberley and Ar Arnhem. This one. Kimberley. 
and arm this one this this one it's the one i was searching for this Brad Saw Brad Saw Rock Art Inverlay on our Bark painting, papunja dog painting, wood carving, serial painting, and firecraft. This is the bark painting. Papunja dot painting is very big. I think in in better the torto because I think I'm adding too many kangaroos but anyway dot painting what more bark sculptures we is called bark wood carvings And also this uh, this one is very impressive. This one
We got painting. And both carving. Aerial painting. I'm going to put it also here. This basketry. Every craft. Next one, Art of Tasmania. Mania basketry. Mania cell necklace. And now you're missing contemporaneity. Aboriginal Contemporaneity. This artwork is called Aboriginal Memorial, created by a group of artists from 
Brahmin Gaming, and early community. Sanitis 200 decorated coffins. Last part. European contemporaneity. Painters that came from Europe developed landscape painting from 18th century onwards. In the examples, they are George Stubbs, Thomas Watling, William Westall, Alexander Trump, Conrad Martens, Robert Dowling, Nicolas Chevalier, and Eupen born Gerard. As examples, and then just one, and it is finished. Just adding two or three paintings and that's all. And this one. These two are yours and all. William, it, it was Will and this, oh, this, this is animal. William Westall. And the other one is Alexander Strom. Alexander okay and I think I'm going to add one of the animals in the previous one this oh. this is another kangaroo I think this time I'm going to do the dog 
just to do something different. George Stubbs. No, also a kangaroo. Kangaroos everywhere. George Stoops. And it is finished. Now, um, kind of summary of the art works. Basketry, uh, pottery, body decoration, Maui, tikis. Rain, bow, serpent, and that's all. Micronesia. I have to Micronesia Mars. Oh, yes. oh, I did it in Africa. Okay, yes, just Micronesia Mars Islands and Mars. Navigation, art, um, mask, and the uh, last one is Caroline Islands. Islands. Culture, Solomon Islands, Beard, Solomon Islands, Jewelry. Papua New Guinea people. I'm going to do a big copy paste here.
Vanuatu Nakamal Aus Vanuatu Naret Sculptor Vanuatu Kamal Lik Mas Vanuatu Kupon Mas Vanuatu Sans Drawings New Caledonia Lip House New Ca Caledonia Mask New Caledonia Morning Mask New Caledonia Aztec Pigi Tano Navala Pigi Bure Talo Pigi Tikis Pigi Scripture Pigi Ivory Netflix, Fiji to Tokyo. Polynesia, Hawaii, Canada, Hawaii, Hawaii, Ku. Hawaii Lono, Hawaii Pele, Hawaii Tikis, Hawaii Eyao Tempo, New Zealand, Maori People, All the people and street. It's still a Maori Marae. Easter Island Why Easter Island Why Kawakai Samoa
Yes, super long. Okay, this finishes now, I think. Yes. So, I am your son. Okay. I go to Mari and... Talking a bit about mythology. So these are the maps. Basic um, introduction, manifestation, the basketry, uh, pottery, body decoration, Maui. Okay, now uh, talking about Maui. Maui. It is the uh, um demigod. I was. Thinking that word, demigod from Oceania, he had many uh, myths like fishing the islands of Oceania. He also uh, broke the fire to the humans. He also made the sun to go slower. Mm, and he tried to get the mm, stone of immortality, something like that. Let me check. Um... It is the well, he tried to get immortality. Yes, he uh, tried to face Mine Nui Depo, the goddess of death, to earn. Uh, immortality for humans but he um he failed and this is and he failed and he died and this is why there is death in the world there was a very interesting myth here mm. Well, I'm going to continue. Um, Tiki was the first male human. The Rainbow Serpent, I explained it before. Related, it is like a very dangerous creature for Australian mythology. Okay, and Micronesia here, Marshall Islands stop, Guan Mas, Caroline Islands figure, and now in Melanesia, Solomon Island art, Papua New Guinea with a lot of things like the Tambaran House, mask, the Asaru, more different kind of art, uh, mask and figures. Then in Vanuatu, the Nakamal house with more figures and masks. And the sand drawings. New Caledonia, the chief house and mask and this axe. In Fiji, the canoe. The Navala. Different tikis that comes from Hawaii. Sculptures, the Totokia, the necklace. Then uh, in Polynesia, here Hawaii gods, the Eyau temple, and then here uh, the Maori people. Here there is a lot of thing uh, to say. 
I'm going to tell the myth of Ranginui and Papa Tuanuku, also called Rangi and Papa. Rangi, the god of sky, and Papa, the uh, goddess of earth, mother earth, uh, they lived um, hugging. This made that their children couldn't see light and they were always in darkness. Then they decided to separate them. Uh, among them, who was separating them was uh, Tani, that I think the equivalent in Hawaii is Kani. This is the god of the forest and this is who separates the sky father and mother earth. There are other gods like Tangaroa, gods, god of the oceans, the life of the sea, guardian of Carnues, then there is Tu, the god of war, Tepo, um, god of darkness. But before talking about Tu, so uh, Tani separates Sky Father and Mother Earth, but Tawiri Matea, the god of um, storms, um, felt, un felt angry for how the other um, gods treated the, the parent gods. So he sent storms over all the world, and all the gods were having fear um, from him, except two, because when Tawiri Matea faced two, the god of war, then two won, and then uh, two started getting crazy because he started like eating animals and destroying things, and so the world. Uh, this is how the world was uh, given form. And then about the first humans, I was been saying that Tigi is the first male human, but who is the first female? Tanim uh, created a human female with Tan to be his partner, and her name is Ine Ahu Oni. Um, and then they had a doctor, and then Tani slept and had sex with the daughter, but she didn't know until someday she realized about this and then she flees to the underworld. So this is like humans are born from in an incestuous relation. Okay, this is, I think this is enough about the gods. So here are the Maori people with the uh, haka dance, the body decorations, the tattoos. Here are the tattoos of the woman. New Zealand Maori Marae sculpt, uh, sculptures, this relief and painting. Easter Island. Here are the Moai and the Moai Kawakawa. Samoa houses, Samoa Siapo. Haiti Floating Village, Haiti Sculpture, Marquesas Islands, Tiggies, Cook Islands Figures and Han Fan, and then Australia. Australia, before I talk about the dream time, that is like um, the past life, not exactly past life, but it's like a state. I was going to say state of dreaming, but it's not exactly like that, but. It's a bit complex to explain, actually. It's something that I can imagine, but it's very hard to explain. And when I read the descriptions, I always feel confused. So I encourage you to read more about that and let's see if you can understand it. Then there are some interesting myths um, involving kangaroos. Let me see. 
Oh yes, the meat of the dog and the kangaroo. The kangaroo and the dog are enemies. And then, uh, and this has an explanation. The kangaroo said to the dog, I'm going to paint you in the cave art. I'm going to paint you very beautiful. But the kangaroo painted the dog very ugly. And then the dog got angry. And this is the reason why kangaroos and dogs are enemies. Another myth of kangaroos. Kangaroo and the beer. So it was a time where there was... Um, there wasn't water, no rains, and the animals um, were drinking uh, like water like in swamp. I don't remember the, ex the exact word. Well, uh, the river was, uh, was dry, there was no water in the river, and the kangaroo and the bear were going to die because they were going to die of thirst. So the kangaroo said to the bear, I remember in the past when I was with my mom in, in this bag that the kangaroos have, and my mom uh, was also going to die of thirst, and, but she excavated in the land and found water, and so this is how we survived. Um, so the kangaroo proposed the bear to search for water near the river that didn't have water. So the kangaroo started working in excavating the land and said to the bear, can you help me? I'm getting very tired. The sun is, is very hot and I need some help. But the bear was, the bear said, oh, but I am also very tired. I'm going to die. So please continue alone. So the kangaroo continues alone and finally finds water. And when he finds water and goes to see, to say to the beer, then the beer just runs to the water. And this is how the kangaroo realized that the beer was kind of tricking him, being lazy. So the kangaroo does all the work. And then the kangaroo got angry and throw the boomerang to the beer. And this mm, cut the beer's tail. And this is why the beer has short tail. So this is another story involving kangaroos. It's the Uluru Mountain, some cave art. The Mimi Spirits. Mimi Spirits is a uh, humanoid spirits that are like very slim, very tall, and have this kind of face. And they are not aggressive, but it is said that if you go to a place where Mimi are living, you will not come back. So I suppose they are not very friendly. And then this X-ray, X-ray art, means that you can see the interior of the body like you see these uh, are the bones the organs bar painting dot painting wood carvings sand painting fiber craft basketry necklace and then the contemporaneity the aboriginal memorial and then just some paintings Okay, so I think I'm going to finish now. I'm going to check if I can tell another myth. I wrote more, but not going to tell everything, just a more interesting. There are also myths involving crocodiles, like for example, a crocodile had the fire and didn't want to share it. And so the rainbow bird uh, tricked him to give the fire to the humans.
There are also myths involving giant kangaroos. Okay, I think this is enough. So this is Oceania and it is been you said. I hope you enjoy it and uh, next week I'll be doing well next um class stream or whatever is about Mesopotamia. So see you next time and thank you very much for coming.